first. How about those? Yeah, I just dropped a, a long form video news update. And during that news update releasing, I saw the Chiefs signed Mike Dana to a three year deal. So this is great news, man. I, I, I figured, hoped that the Chiefs were going to get a deal done with Mike Dana once uh, Legereus Sneed's trade became final. They got a hold of that $19.8 million that Sneed was tying up when he was tagged. And uh, this was definitely a position of need. They went for three big positions of needs this week. They signed QB2. That's Carson Wentz. They signed running back Clyde Edwards E. Lair. Both of those guys signed to a one year deal. Uh, CEH, he's good depth, good veteran experience. Carson Wentz provides the same. Mike Dana, uh, this is a great signing for a couple of different reasons. He's young, he's 26 years old. And yeah, he had six and a half sacks last year, 50 tackles. 16 games started. Uh, he lined up across a lot of times from George Karloftis. And defensive end was a big need for the Chiefs guys because, remember, Charles Minihu tore his ACL, had surgery. He's not going to return uh, until week 9, 10, somewhere around there of the regular season of 2024. So you really needed defensive end help. Yeah, they got Chris Jones, and the defensive tackle room is okay. Like, it. It's in a decent spot. They brought back Mike Dana, Turk Wharton, uh, obviously re-signed Chris Jones to a big deal. But they really needed help in the defensive end room, and it really made sense to bring in Mike Dana. He kicked inside more than any other defensive end last season. So you, he's versatile. When Chris Jones kicks outside, Dana can shuffle in, and uh, he knows the system. He plays really well. Like I feel like he had a great year last year. Yeah, it was a contract year, but he still played really well, and I don't anticipate the dip. Now, as far as the contract details, um, which some of you are probably like, hey, how much are the Chiefs paying him? Three years, $24 million. That includes $13 million guaranteed. I thought the Chiefs might sign Dana to a couple years of a deal, one to two years. Um, wasn't really sure what they would pay him. He was projected to like per spot track was projected to make or get offered a deal worth around $8 million a year. I thought that was a little bit high, but that is exactly what they hit him with. Um, three years, 24 million, 24 divided by three is eight. Now it's 13 million guaranteed. So I'm going to assume there is an out after two years. Okay. We don't, we won't know the exact year by year breakdown of Dana's contract until probably sometime next week. Um, so it's probably essentially a two year deal, 13 million guaranteed. So would you say that's about 6.5 million a year? Um, we'll just see. There might be some guarantees on the third year, but sometimes they, they have the third year as a little bit of window dressing. Uh, the first two years are what really matter. But this is a big deal. I mean, Mike Dana was uh, drafted by the Chiefs and he gets a big payday being able to stay in Kansas City. A uh, valuable signing to me. Some people will, will think it's meh, but I think the deal they got him for and uh, the help that they needed on the defensive line, especially with uh, a Minihu recovering from his knee surgery again, FAU, like he's supposed to take a step forward next year, right? Uh, but we don't know how that's going to look, so this adds more depth. And then once a Minihu returns, it's going to make that room even better. They could still look to add via the draft or even take like a cheaper uh, veteran defensive end later in free agency. There's still moves that they can do and moves that they can make. Now, I just saw recently as well, the Chiefs had around $26 million in cap space when you looked at their top 51 cap space, right? That did not count Carson Wentz and CEH's contracts. They probably are making two to three million dollars combined. That's a rough guess. Both roughly vet minimum deals. Talking about Wentz and Ceh. Factor in Dana. Won't know his cap hit this year, but if it's twenty six, you have Carson Wentz and Ceh a million ish. That's twenty. We'll say twenty three. We'll do three million total for both Ceh and Wentz. Uh, let's say you take eight million off of this. That's still seventeen ish million dollars that the Chiefs have money uh, freed up cap space to use to get other deals done. So you need some of that for draft picks and stuff like that.
but not all of those will hit the top 51 salary cap. Then they're going to have discussions with um, at, at least one, two of the three, Nick Bolton, Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith. I would expect a couple of those deals, maybe Trey Smith, or, or sorry, maybe Creed Humphrey, then Trey Smith or Nick Bolton. I, I would uh, be very surprised if we didn't get a Creed Humphrey extension done after the draft, um, but we'll see about that. There's also the need of left tackle. Um, there's not a le lot of left tackles on the market, guys. Urinating tree. This Dana move single-handedly sinks the Chiefs. Now, I love, I love the move, man. Um, but yeah, left tackle is the next, the next thing that you really need to look at. They might not sign a left tackle until after the draft, guys. They'll go in there hoping to probably get a tackle as early as humanly possible and then maybe sign somebody like Donovan Smith after. That's really all you got left if you look at the left tackles. There's a couple guys out there, Donovan Smith. Uh, I think somebody said Mecky Becton. He has played left, then played right. So, yeah, there's that. But Donovan Smith could be a real option. Either way... That's kind of what the roster is looking like right now. This week, the Chiefs filled three positions of need. QB2, running back depth. I don't think they're done at running back with adding CEH, by the way. I don't think Pacheco and CEH is all they need. Jarek McKinnon is a free agent. They do have LaMichael P. Ryan and Daneric Prince uh, on the practice squad, or they sat on the practice squad, but um, we'll see about the running back room. But then defensive end is looking much better with the return of Mike Dana. Uh, hope you guys are... Somewhat happy about that. Aaron, thanks so much for the membership. I think Tree's just uh, trolling around. Tear it down, no more three-peat. No, Tree, we need the three-peat, man. I think they have the left tackle in the bag, said Jeremy. Where? You mean in the draft? Creed is crucial. Yeah, I agree. I understand Creed was having, like, the low snap issues. Um, he was having the low snap issues off and on later in the season. Somebody was saying he was battling through injury, so hopefully he just whatever the injury was, his wrist, his hand, I, I just don't really know, shoulder, elbow, <laughs> um, whatever that was, he was never on the injury report. That's mitigated and in the past starting next year. Um, but yeah, Creed is a an, an incredible center. Hopefully they can get an extension worked out with him. They'll still talk with Trey Smith, but guards got so much this offseason. Trey Smith might be like, yo, I don't know. I might go get a bag in the offseason. And then Nick Bolton, I just don't know. I, I think they're going to get a deal done with Nick Bolton. But the long-term deal of Drew Tranquil makes things a bit more intriguing to me um, just as far as what they're going to do because Drew Tranquil can play all three linebacker positions. And it makes the Nick Bolton extension not as mandatory, in my opinion, this offseason. He'll be a free agent next year. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, Mike Dana, Carson Wentz, CEH. I was surprised again. By the uh, length of Mike Dana's contract, three, what is it, three years, 24 million. So 8 million a year, average 13 million guaranteed, but I'm not unhappy about it. He tweeted out more diamonds in red, I believe, or actually posted that on his Instagram. So yeah, Mike Dana's happy. The Chiefs are happy. This was expected. The reports have been circulating for a couple of weeks that the Chiefs have been pursuing Mike Dana trying to get a deal done with him, and it ended up happening. You guys got to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about go